TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and open that Unit 2 procedure that we created and start to configure the PLC and get it one step closer to programming. So we're going to go to uh, My Files. We're going to go to um, wherever it is that you had it saved. So in this case, it's in My Documents, Automations, under My Name. I'm going to open up the Unit 2 project, and then I'm going to come to Unit 2 project, the, TIA, uh, the Siemens TIA portal project here, double click, and I'm going to give it a second to open up. All right, now that it's opened up, it will bring you back to your configuration page here, what they call the first step. So what we want to do now is we need to identify the PLC that this program is going to be program this what this program is going to be programming to. So in this case, we're programming to a Siemens uh, S7 1200. So what we want to do is we want to hit configure the device. And then we want to hit add new device since this is a brand new program. And we are going to be using the PLC controller. So we want to make sure that we select the controller function up here. And we are using the, C, uh, the uh, S7-1200, so we want to click here. Expand the CPU options out. And this is the most common way to do this. You come down and you select unspecified unspecif unspec CPU-1200. And you click here. And what this will do is this will actually then go out and figure out which one it's actually doing. So we want to come here and we want to click add. So we're going out and we're adding to some extent a blank PLC that is tied to the S7-1200. And this will take a minute to run through the process. Now this has brought you to the project view. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make some room here by scooting some things out of the way. We're going to minimize this. We've got a project tree we can leave up. So what we want to do is we want to bring this out. Let's go ahead and minimize this. What we're going to do is we are going to actually have the, the the TIA portal go out and detect exactly which PLC is on here. So we want to come down to here and we want to select detect. Now you you have to be networked into the PLC at this point. So you have to have an Ethernet cord running from the computer to the Siemens Ethernet switch that is then connected to the PLC. So what we want to do is we want to go out at this point and detect what it's doing. All right. So we want to come up here. All right, we want to select the one that is the Ethernet connections, and we want to come out here and say start search. And you can see here it's going to run that search. It's going out and it's looking, and it says, hey, look, we found a couple things here, okay? We found a couple things that have IP addresses on them, and your PLC will already have an IP address assigned to it. And since it knows, hey, we're looking specifically for um, a PLC, it ignores the... Uh, IP address that had that went to the um, HMI. So we select this and then we hit detect. Give it a minute. And as you can see here, this PLC program, and I'll go ahead, the, the PLC that's here, and I'll go ahead and zoom in. I prefer to go to 400. I think that's a real good level. This is identical now to the PLC that is on your trainer. Okay? And you can see that, or even if I zoomed out a little bit more to 200, this is identical to the PLC that's on the trainer. And you see this right here. This actually shows you that it is networked together, that you are actually connected in through the Ethernet. All right. Um, and so at this point, the PLC is programmed. The, we are aware now that it, it is here, and it's ready to, uh, we're ready to go on to the next step. 
So what we want to do is we want to save the project. And we're ready to go on to Unit 4 or 3.1, depending on how your uh, teacher wants you to uh, flow through it.